The Devil is a Part-Timer was a very refreshing experience. It's a slice-of-life comedy with elements of fantasy, but most importantly, it's not set in school. This story follows Sadao Mao, the former demon king of Inte Isla. After his defeat, falling from the throne, he retreats with his general Ashia to modern-day Japan, losing all of their magic abilities in the process. Mao vows to conquer this strange new world and return to Inte Isla with an army large enough to reclaim his throne, but until that day arrives, he's gotta survive, so he needs a job. But of course, he has no work experience, so he's stuck at McRonald's. From here, we're introduced to a colorful cast of characters, from Mal's co-workers to stragglers from Inte Isla who find their way to our realm. We have Chiho, who is Mal's co-worker, who has a big crush on him but is too embarrassed to say so, and she's pretty jealous too. She's really cute in this embarrassed cute girl kind of way. There's Emmy, who is a hero from Inte Isla who traveled to our world to finally defeat Mal once and for all. She was really funny because back in Inte Isla she was this very powerful and famous hero, but now in our realm she is really clumsy and fails constantly. We have Ashia, Mal's loyal general turned penny-pinching roommate. I loved Ashia's interaction with everyone because he took even the slightest expenses seriously. For a few other noteworthy characters that we meet later on in the story, we have my favorite, Lucifer. Lucifer is a reclusive internet addict who loves shopping online. He reminds me of this angsty yet lazy teenager that demands everything but will not get a job. And we have Suzuno, who in my opinion was the weakest character of the series. She wasn't funny at all and she had this dramatic backstory, but I guess it was necessary in order to progress the plot. Which unfortunately, the plot has to progress. With each episode we watch, we are one episode closer to the end of the series. And I say unfortunately because it's only 13 episodes long. I loved all these characters. I thought it was a hilarious series that I wish would have went on for at least 24. It was a very refreshing experience because you don't often see this side of life in anime. I thought that their references to McDonald's or KFC were actually a nice touch because if they had worked at any sort of random made-up business, then it wouldn't have been as relatable. It's this familiar setting of a place that we've all been to before, set in modern day times with modern technology. We even see plenty of times where Lucifer's ordering a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. Comedy is hard to translate and as anime fans, we can forget this at times because we already know more about Japanese culture. But The Devil is a Part-Timer is an anime that you could show to anyone. They don't even have to watch anime to get these jokes. Like, for example, one of my favorite moments of the series was watching everyone's reaction to the photo of Mao's landlord in a bikini. You see, there's something here for everyone. Plus, this familiar setting is perfectly used to contrast how clueless everyone from Inte Isla is. They do a perfect job of portraying the reactions of outsiders to our world because they take even the smallest things seriously. Like, for example, Mao, former demon lord of Inte Isla. When he prepares for a fight, he will strip down to his underwear. He will take his McRonald's uniform off just because if it gets damaged, then it's going to come out of his paycheck. I thought that their overreactions to everything were hilarious and it really added character to the series. On top of that, with this slice of life comedy, we get a bit of action here and there too, where some of the people from Inte Isla start regaining enough magic to begin attacking Mao. Seeing as how the main focus of the story was on its comedy, I was pleasantly surprised with the fights here. There weren't very many, but of everybody's actions were exaggerated and they were really enjoyable to watch. The fights weren't really that necessary though, they were only used to progress certain parts of the plot, but I feel for a series like this it had to have some sort of supernatural element to reinforce the background of our main characters. With a plot like this and hilarious writing, I would be fine just watching this as a slice of life comedy. But we have to have these fights just to remind you that these characters are demons and heroes and not just socially awkward members of society. As for the presentation, the animation and art style looks like your standard anime from 2010. It doesn't go all out, but the story that's being told doesn't really need it to. I was pleasantly surprised by the fight scenes here because I know that it was an afterthought to the overall story, but it's still something that 
I think they did a good job on. I thought it had a pretty good soundtrack too. I loved the opening, I liked the ending to it, I thought it had good background music too, and I liked the way that it would change up to get you hyped up for some of these fights. I watched the series with its English dub, and I think they did an outstanding job. All of the actors were perfectly cast for their roles, and they rose to the occasion of whatever the series threw at them. I recommend watching this with its English dub, but of course, you can also enjoy it with its Japanese audio as well. My overall score of The Devil is a Part-Timer is an 8.5 out of 10. It's a light-hearted comedy that transcends the cultural barrier, something I would recommend to anyone. But unfortunately, it's only 13 episodes long. I wish it was twice as long, but it's definitely something you could enjoy on a quick fix. As of right now, there's no news for a second season. I tried to check out some of the source material to this just to see if the story went further than the anime, but I was only able to read about 15 chapters of it, and honestly, a comparison of the anime to the manga, uh, just watch the anime, because the manga, I didn't really enjoy the art style. It's one of these art styles that looked uh, pretty close to how it looked in the anime. I prefer the hand-drawn style of it, and the story itself was very close. It was pretty much spot on to the anime. So between the two, I definitely recommend that you watch the anime. So if you've seen Devil is a Part-Timer, then let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support with the likes and comments. Be sure to check out my top 10 favorite anime series of all time and also my top 5 worst anime of all time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.